Hey, hello everybody. How are you today? Hi. Hello. Uh, how's hello. It going? hello. I hope everything is good, right? Okay. So for today. Well, yesterday we were, we were doing, um, what we were doing yesterday, we were doing B, right? B statements. So for today, we're going to do um, simple future. So we're going to start doing simple future today, okay? Now, let me just check something here. Now, everybody's late. Then let's wait a little bit for some people. Okay, let me just check out something here. Teacher, yes. Excuse me. Um, I have a question. Yeah, let me. But I not. I, I not speak English. In okay, Spanish. tell me in Spanish. Don't worry. Okay. Este, con con respecto a, a las a los contenidos de la de las clases en la plataforma, en qué en qué forma tenemos que irlos desarrollando o, o, o podemos adelantarnos. Or conforme al contenido que vamos viendo con usted. Uh, you can just go ahead and do whatever you understand. But if you don't understand, you can ask me. And then I can actually, you know, teach you whatever you don't understand. But if you do understand, just go ahead and do it. Don't worry. Okay? Uh, okay. Si entiende todo Thanks. lo que está allí, usted puede adelantarse, no hay problema. Pero si no, siempre puede preguntarme. Okay? Okay, gracias. Thank you. No, no problem. Thank you very much. Okay, so for today we have a big, a big, um, a big topic because there is a, that is the grammar that we're going to be using for the next topics, and that is the simple future. Um, so the simple future, where well, as I'm going to explain, it's is um, you know, is what we use. It's a tense that we use to talk about things that are going to happen, and. Uh, I'm going to explain it in two different, in two different, um, in two different uh, slides, uh, two different presentations, because one is really simple, but the other one has to do with a lot of things that you need to understand in order to use the simple future. Okay? Okay. Okay, now we have more or less a lot of people. Okay, good evening everybody. So today we're going to work on the simple future. Uh, somebody was asking me what about with the topics that you need to develop um, online. Go ahead. If, if you do understand a lot of things that are online 
and you want to go ahead and you know uh, advance you can do that but if you had a, a, any questions any questions that you might have um, if you have doubts you can ask me okay um, you know you just write it down or take some notes and then uh, you can actually ask me about it doesn't matter <clears throat> If it is a topic that we if we already passed, okay. But if we haven't passed the topic, uh, just wait until we touch the topic, okay. Uh, si tienen dudas sobre un, un, un tema que ya está en línea y ya lo ya lo vieron y trabajaron en él, anoten las preguntas que tengan y hasta que yo esté en ese tema explicándolo y con, con la presentación y todo que les preparo, entonces ahí me pregunto. Okay, so you no tienen problemas, you know, you can just continue with that, okay? Okay. Good. Okay, so let's begin. Today we have a big topic. Let's see, let me just uh, do some little changes here. Good. Just preparing it so you can see it. I'm going to do this in two parts because sometimes it's very difficult for a lot of students. So I'm going to do it in two parts because today I was teaching the same thing in the morning and some students got confused. So I'm going to just prepare it here. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to share the screen with you so you can see what I have prepared. This is the first part. We go, as I say, uh, we're going to do two parts of it, okay? Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, right, let me do some captions and the point. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020, and we're going to be talking about a single future because that's what you're going to be doing later on, okay? Um, let's start. Okay, so listen to this question. What is the simple future? Everybody, repeating. Guys, could you repeat? What is this? Okay, what is the simple future? What is the simple future? What is the simple future? Future, future, future. future. Very good. What is the simple future? Let's go uh, with, with the question again. What is the simple future? What is the simple future? Very good. What is the simple future? Okay, one more time. What is the simple future? What, what is the simple future? The simple future. Simple future. Good. So that is the question. So the answer is is an action that is going to start and end in the future. Everybody? It's an action, an action that's going to start and end in the future. Okay, the, the, the answer is going to be is an action that is going to start and end in the future. One more time. Is the in the future. Great. So, so if somebody asks you, they're going to say, hey, what is the simple future? So you're going to answer, oh, the simple future is an action that is going to start and end in the future, okay? Okay. Um, let's practice. Okay. We're going to practice from here, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, Carla Torrento, what is the simple future? Is an action that is going to start and end in the future. Very good, very good. Okay, Carla as ever. 
What is the simple future? Is an actor <laughs> in the future. Ever, as, as Susana. What is the simple future? Wait, Ever, you say, Susana, what is the simple future? One more time, please. Ever? Is an actor features. Okay, I couldn't listen to that, Susana. But Susana, ask Carlos Al Alvarado, please. What is the simple features? It's an action that is going to start and end in the future. And good. Now you ask uh, Gamaliel. Carlos, ask Gamaliel, please. Gamaliel, what is the simple feature? Perfect, perfect, very good. It's an action that is going to start and in the time in the future. Okay, good. Gamaliel, ask Noé. Noé, what is it? What is the simple future? Very good, very good, yes. Okay, it's an action that is going to start and end in the future. Very good. Noé, ask Angel. Angel, what is the simple future? It's an action uh, that is going to start and end in the future. Very good. Angel, ask Frank. Uh, Frank, uh, what is the simple feature? Frank? Hello, Frank. What is the simple feature? Okay, Jose, you answer. Because, please. It's an action that is going to start in the in the future. It's an action that is going to start and end in the future. Okay. Okay, and please. In the future. Okay, you ask Carla Cano, please. Okay, um, Carla Cano, ask Marbelly, please. Okay, Marbelly, what is the simple future? Okay, it's an action that is going to start and end in the future. Very good. Okay, Ninette, ask Rigoberto. Uh, Rigoberto? Yes. Okay, Rigoberto, what is the simple future? Is an action that is going to start and ending the future. Future, very good, very good. So that is the first question. Okay, what is the simple future? Is an action that is going to start and end in the future. Okay, very good. Let's go to number two. How do we know that we're using the simple future? Repeat. How do we know that? How do we know that we are using the simple future? Okay, listen one more time. How do we know that we're using the simple future? Teacher, please. Yeah? How do we know that we are using the simple future? We know that we are using the simple future because we are using the going to. Okay, wait. Uh, we are in, in, in the question. Okay, listen. How do we know that we are using the simple future? Everybody? How do we know that we are using the simple future? And the answer is because we, because we use going to. Okay, let's see. 
Let's start. Um, Ar Cuadra. I don't know who's that. Ar, Ca Ar Cuadra. Ask Carla Torrento, please. Carla, how do we know that we are using the simple future? Because we use going to. Very good. Jose, ask Joanna. Know that you're using the future. Because we use it in two. Good. Roberto, ask Ninette. Wait a moment, wait a moment. It's okay. How do we know that we're using the simple future? Ninette? Okay, um, Marbeli, ask Gamaliel, please. Okay, Gamaliel, how do we know that we're using the simple future? Because we use going to. Very good. Carlos, ask Angel. Angel, how do how do uh, we know that we are using the simple feature? Because we use going to. Okay, let's move on with the next question. What is the general question for the simple future? Everybody? What is the general question for the simple features? What is the general question for the simple future, everybody? What are you going to do Okay, the answer is, what are you going to do, everybody? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, what are you going to do? everybody? What are you going to do? Good. Do you know what that means in Spanish? Do you know what that means in Spanish? ¿Qué es no. lo que voy a hacer? No. ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Okay. Okay, let's begin. Okay. Um, okay. Carla Torrento, as Noé. Uh, what is the general question for the simple future? Very good. Susana, ask Carlos. Carlos, what is the general question for the simple features? What are you going to do? Very good. Gamaliel, ask Carla Cana. Carla, what is your general what is your what what is the general question for the simple future? What are you going to do? Very good. Um, Carla Torrento asked Ninette. What is the general question for the simple future? What are you going to do? Lynette, can you listen to us? Okay. Well, um, Noe, ask our quadra, please. Okay, what is the general question for the simple future? What are you going to do? There we go. Let's go to the next. What are the info questions that we can use for the simple future? Everybody? What are, what are, are the info questions that we can use for the simple future? For the simple future. Okay, well, listen, listen to this. What are the info questions that we can use for the simple future? One more time. What, what are the questions that we can use for the simple future? And the answer is what, why, where, when, why, who, with? Everybody? 
Listen to this. I have an exercise here. Look at that exercise. I'm going to say something and then you're going to repeat, okay? Okay. Okay, number one is what are you going to do, everybody? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And the, and the answer is, I'm going to eat pizza. Everybody? I'm going, I'm going to, to eat pizza. pizza. To eat pizza. Number two, what time are you going to eat pizza? What time, what time are, are you going, going to eat, to eat, to eat pizza? pizza? And the answer is, I'm going to eat pizza at 3 p.m. I'm going to eat pizza at 3 p.m. Where are you going to eat pizza? We are you going to eat pizza? No, we. Where? Where are you going to eat pizza? Where are you going to eat pizza? I'm going to eat pizza in my house. I'm going to eat pizza in my house. When are you going to eat pizza? When, when are you going, going to eat pizza? Eat pizza? I'm going to eat pizza tomorrow. I'm going, I'm going to eat pizza tomorrow. tomorrow. Why are you going to eat pizza? Why are you going to eat pizza? I'm going to eat pizza, going to eat pizza because I like it. I'm going to eat pizza because I like it. I like, I like it. I like it. Who are you going to eat pizza with? Where are you going to eat pizza with? with? I'm going to eat pizza with my friends. I'm going to eat pizza with my friends. My friends. Very good. So this part is simple future first person. Okay, so when you're talking in first person. Let's go for second picture in third person, okay? In third person. What, what is Paola going to do? What is Paola going to do? She is going to eat pizza. She is going to eat pizza. What time is Paola going to eat pizza? What time is Paola going to eat pizza? She is going to eat pizza at 4 p.m. Where is Paola going to eat pizza? Where is Paola going to eat pizza? She is going to eat pizza in her house. In her house. She is going to eat pizza in her house. When is Paola going to eat pizza? When is the going to eat pizza? She is going to eat pizza tomorrow. She is going to eat pizza tomorrow. Why is Paola going to eat pizza? Why is Paola going to eat pizza? Paola is going to eat pizza. She is going to eat pizza because she likes it. She is going to eat pizza because she likes it. No, no, no. Because she likes it. She likes it. She likes it. She's going to eat pizza because she likes it. No, no. She likes it. 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 Es diferente. Es diferente cuando es en primera persona. En tercera persona cambia. Cuando es en primera persona digo I like it. You like it. Pero cuando es en tercera persona, she likes it, he likes it. So it's different, okay? She likes it. 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 Okay, let's go to the last one. Let's go to the last one. Who is Paola going to eat pizza with? Who is Paola going to eat pizza with? She is going to eat pizza with her friends. She's, She's going, going to eat pizza with her friends. Good. 
Okay, I want you to take a, I want you to take a screenshot of this because you're going to practice. I'm going to, we're going to create groups to practice questions and answers, okay? Take a screenshot. Let me know when you have the screenshot. So it's much interference, teacher. Yeah, I know a lot of people are talking on the background. Okay, you have the, the screenshot already? Yes. Very good. So uh, I take it. You took it. Very good. Okay, so let's go and we're going to do break rooms. So we're going to do break rooms and groupings. We're going to make groups. Let's see if we have 14 participants. Four. We're going to do one, two, three, four. Four, four groups. Okay. Okay, what you're going to do is that you're going to make questions like 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 we did the other day, okay? Mm -hmm. You question number one, number two, number three. Uh, so we do like, if I ask, for example, in one group, Carlos asks question number one to Marbelli. Marbelli asks question number two to Lynette. Uh, Lynette do question number three and so on, okay? Do all questions. Let's go. Okay, in this break room, we have only Carlos Salvador and Art Quadra. So you may question, for example, uh, Quadra, you may question number one to Carlos. Carlos may question number two to Lynette. Lynette may question number three to Quadra, and so on. So you're going to go like, you know, in round. One question for each person, okay? Okay. Good, continue. Okay, solo que ah. este... El, no, no alcancé a tomar el print de pantalla. Yo lo, lo, yo lo comparto. Pero... Very good, very good. Go. ¿Ya lo ven? Sí. Eh, ¿Permiso yo? Dale, dale, dale. What, what, what time are you going to eat pizza? I'm going to eat pizza at 3 p.m. Wait, wait, wait. Start, start from question number one. Start from question number one. Question number one is, what are you going to do? And uh, then what are, uh, number two, okay. and so on, okay? Okay. Very good. What are you going to do? I am... Let's uh, I... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, very good. So, uh, who is here? Uh, let me see who's here. So, make, make questions from question number one and, and continue, okay? Good. Okay. My house. Okay. Or dijo when? Ahora pregunta Ever. Hey, listen, listen. When you're making the questions, listen to this. For example, if I'm going to question to who is here, who is in this in this room? Let's see, this is room number what? Three. Three. Uh, so if I ask Ever, for example, I'm going to say, Ever, where are you going to eat pizza? So mention your name so you get confused, okay? Okay. Very okay. good. Continue. Perfect. Ever, uh, who are you going to eat pizza with? I'm going to eat pizza. Gano. What time is Paola going to eat pizza? She is going to eat pizza at 4 p.m. Angel, where is Paola going to eat pizza? Uh, she is going to eat pizza in her house. 
eh, Paola. Eh, Carla, eh, what is Paola going to eat pizza? She is going to eat pizza tomorrow. Can, why is Paola going to eat pizza? She is going to eat pizza because she likes it. Very good. Angel, who is Paola going to eat pizza? With. With. Uh, she is going to eat pizza with her, her friends. Very good. Very good. Nice. So you practice everything, right? Yes. Yes. All questions from, from uh, first person and third person, right? Or, no. uh, what is the question? It, you practice all questions from first person and third person. Yes. Okay. Very yes. Good. Very good. Yes. Very good. Maybe you can practice a little bit because the other groups are having problems. I'm going to go check, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. No está ni en el... Ajá, que son tres, tres yeah. cursos por grupo, pero no está ahí. Okay. Well, let's see, Ninet. Yes, she's here, but she does, I think she doesn't listen. She cannot listen. Well, okay. Check. What okay. group is this? Uh, this is group number one, right? Sí, yes. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you Marbelli. Maybe okay. Ninette cannot listen. I don't know what's happening to her audio. Okay, Marbelli is with you too. Okay, continue practicing, please. Okay. Preguntar, no, eh, si quieres preguntar a vos. Pero, ah. Si quieres, te llaman a tres, preguntar a vos las primeras y a la segunda. No, si, yo pregunté las primeras. O vos. No, no, yo te ah, no, yo, yo, ah, las ah, ah, ah. ah. yo, yo voy, voy. What are you going to do? Okay, listen, guys, listen. Whenever okay. you're, you're making the questions, eh, do the questions like this. Hey, Carlos, what, what are you going ah. to do? And then Carlos is going to say, I'm going to blah, blah, blah. And when Carlos made the questions, hey, uh, Cuadra, what, what time are you going to eat pizza? You know, mention your name so you, you won't get confused, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay. 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 Carlos, what are you going to do? Uh, la numero dos. Me Three. perdí, Three. perdón. Three. 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 I am going to eat pizza tomorrow. Uh, Gamaliel, where are you going to eat pizza? I'm going to eat pizza because I like it. Okay, everybody's coming back from the break rooms. Let's wait a little bit. Hello. Hello. We're just waiting for everybody to come back from the groups, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. 
Okay, everybody's back. Okay, so let's move on. Now um, that we have an in, that's an introduction for the simple future. You see that um, if we use for the simple future, we use going to, which means in Spanish, like for example, what are you going to do means que vas a hacer, que vas a hacer. So that is the simple future. If you use will, yeah, it is simple future, but will is some is different. Simple future is going to. Going to is always future, okay? Uh, now, will is probability. Like we say in Spanish, probabilidad. Como pueda darse algo o no se puede dar. Así se usa el will. So, will no es simple, eh, futuro simple, sino que going to, okay? Okay, in this case, we're going to continue and check out the video, which is online for you guys. Let's see. Uh, let me just... Go ahead and prepare. Uh, let me do here. There we go. Now let me share with you guys. Share and share computer sound and optimize the screen share. Here we go. Okay, is everybody seeing this? Yes. Very good. Okay, let's begin. Pay attention to this. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be. M. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is after that we need to include the auxiliary going to then we put the verb invites finally we add a compliment all my friends let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to to do that we're going to follow this formula the verb to be plus the subject plus going to 
plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement, anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a complement to you and a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Okay, did you guys understand? So the, uh, the little introduction that I did, it was talking in general. Now over there, you, you, you saw that you can make questions and you also learn about how to do the, um, you know, the subject, complement, and, and everything, like in, in a formula, okay? Um, now, what we need to do, yes? Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, uh, when I ask uh, with going to, uh, is necessary uh, respond with going to? Exactly. Exactly. If it, if it is a simple future question, then you're going to answer with simple future. It, it is the same thing for all tenses. You know, if you ask questions in the past, you're going to answer in the past. And if you ask questions in the present, only in the present, you're going to answer in the present. And it's the same thing here in the future. If you make a simple future question, you're going to answer with simple future too. Yes. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. In every tense, it's the same thing. Be because we have a simple present, simple future, simple past, present progressive, and so on. So we have so many tenses, but it's the same thing with all, all of them, okay? Okay. Good. Now, um, Let's check something, the other, the other part that I prepared for you guys, uh, which is the simple future, explain. This is a little bit uh, more, like a little bit heavy, okay? So let's pay attention to this. Uh, let me just get this. Good. Now let me share it with you guys. Here we go. Yeah, as usual, this is the, my, my presentation. Simple future tense, okay? So let's see, number one. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Carla Torrento, can you start reading this please? Okay, teacher. A simple future has two different forms in English. Will um, be going to. All true, the two forms can sometimes be used interchange 
other D. They often, I don't see the. Oh, sorry, sorry, they, my bad, my bad. There. They often express. They often express two very different meanings. There are different meanings, mind, seen, to abstract and first. But with time and practice, the difference will become clear, but uh, will um, be going to refer to a specific time in the future. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. So as you can see, we go into it is future. Okay, sometimes you're going to use will, but will is different than using be going to. Any questions here? Questions about vocabulary or anything? Okay, let's move on. Let's see. So these examples, uh, who's next? Let's see. Angel, can you read these examples, please? Angel? Uh, okay, uh, you will help him later. Will you help? him later uh, you will not help him later okay this is later 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 yes más tarde later very good okay. okay let's see carlos is next carlos can you read this please carlos okay Sorry, I bet. Am um, is are more going to. This is plus, more plus, better. plus. Plus. Yes. Plus going to, plus better. Example. You are going to meet Jane Tuning. Tonight. 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 Are you going to meet James tonight? You are not going to meet James tonight. Very good. Hey, what is the meaning of the, the, the verb meet? Reunión. Yes, yes. It could be reunión o conocer. It could be both, okay? So be careful with that. Next. Let's see who's next. Marbelli, Marbelli, can you read this, please? Okay. Will often suggest, suggest. that I speak, suggest, okay, will often suggest that a speaker will do some, something vol voluntarily. Voluntary. Okay. A uh, voluntary action is when the speaker offers to do for someone else. Often we use will to respond to someone else's complaint or request for help. We also we we also we also use will when we request that someone help help us or volunteer to do something for us. Sim similar Similarly, similarly, me, you will not or won't when, when we refuse to voluntarily do something. Thank you very much. That was nice. Any questions about vocabulary? Yes. yes. What mean offers? Uh, offers. Where? The speaker offer. Yes, first line. Offer line. So yes, that a speaker, that a speaker will do something voluntarily. A speaker is the one who speaks. Alguien que está hablando. No. No. Angel it's is first, first, first line. Uh, yes. Oh, ofreciendo, ofreciendo, ofrecer. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, anybody else? Is to guess with okay. often such as? Suggest, sugerir. 
sugerir. Ok, very good. Let's move on. Let's see who's next to read. Hey, Gamaliel, can you read this, please? Ok, example. I will send you the information when I get it. Uh, I will translate. I, I will translate the email. So Mr. Smith can read it. Would you help me, would you help me move this heavy table? Would you make dinner? I will do not I will not do your homework for you. Example. I want to do all the housework myself. I am really hungry. I'll make I'll make some sandwiches. I'm so tired I am about to fall asleep. I'll get you some coffee. The phone is ringing. Ringing. I'll get it. Sorry? The phone is ringing. Ringing. The ringing. phone is ringing. The phone is ringing. I'll get it. Ring, ringing, ring, ringing. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Ringing. Thank you. Let's move on. Anybody has a question? Yes. Uh, okay. What mean housework? Uh, trabajo de casa, like do uh, planchar, um, barrer. Okay, thank you. Teacher, is different a homework? Homework is tarea. Tarea. Uh, the, the, como se dice, um, se dice, como de, para estudiar. En cambio, housework es tarea de casa, como barrer, cocinar. Oficio. Oficio. Oficio de la casa. Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's move on. Next one. Okay, let's see who's next. Who's next to you? Alexa, can you read this, please? Okay, uh, we use usually you said in the promise, uh, promise, promise. I will tell you when I, I read it. I am a lex, a lex president of the United States. I will make sure everyone has access to inexpensive health insurance. I promise I will not tell him about the surprise party, don't worry, I'll be helpful. I won't tip anyone your secret. Very good. Questions here? No question. Okay, moving on. Who's next here reading? Um, Johanna, could you read this, please? Okay, be going to express that something is a plan. It expresses the idea that a person intends to do something in the future. It does not matter whether the plan is realistic or not. Very good, thank you. Um, anybody has a question? Yes. What is the meaning uh, weather? Matter weather. Weather. We weather it means like you have options. Thank you. Cuando se usa weather es que tiene opciones. En este yeah. caso, las opciones puede ser que sea realista o no realista. Okay? Yes. Uh, one, question. Question? one question. One yes. question. Uh, weather significa cualquier otra cosa too? No, 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 no. Eh, cualquier otra cosa es anything. Este es para opciones. Si oh. tiene dos o más opciones. Ah, ok, perfecto. Thank okay. you. Any other question? Good. Muy bueno. Ok, Susana, can you read this, please? Ok. He's going to speed his vacation. He's going to spend. He's going to spend his 
vacation in Hawaii. Very good. She's not going to spend her vacation in Hawaii. Yes. When are we going to meet each other? Each other. Meet, meet each other tonight. We are going to meet at 6 p.m. I am going to be an actor when I grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up, yes. Michelle is going to be begin, begin medical uh, school next year. They are going to drive all the way to Alaska. Right. They are going to drive. They are going to drive all the way to Alaska. We are going to going to invite 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 to the party. Here, you miss this. Who are you going to invite to the party? Who are you going to invite to the invite. party? Invite. 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 Yes. Who is going to make John's birthday cake? Who is going to make John's birthday cake? Very good, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, who's next here? Oh, Ninette, can you read this please? Okay, Ninette is having problems with this. Okay, Jose, could you read this please for us? But will both 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 will and be going to can express the idea of a general prediction about the future prediction or guesses about what might might happen. Might, might happen. Uh, might might happen in the future. In prediction sentence, the subject usually has little control over the future and therefore uses one three to not apply right. in the apply in the follow uh, in the following examples. There is no difference in meaning. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Um, actually, we, we finished our class today. It's already time to go. So what I want you to do, because only two persons sent me their, their, their WhatsApp number. Listen, I want you to send me your WhatsApp number, your email, your email, so I can send you all the stuff, okay? So send it right now if you can. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be waiting on, on my phone. Uh, send it right now so I can send you uh, all the four presentations already. I, I all use four presentations already. So you need to read this so you can practice, okay? Okay. Okay. Same, okay. Send it, send it okay, to, night, my, night, night. To, my, to my WhatsApp, okay? Your email night, everyone. and everything. Thanks. With full names too, okay? Full names. Okay, you have a nice night. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Everybody, have a nice night. Have a nice night. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Ooh. Oh,